know, one of the things that people overlook is field sanitation, all right? So always remember a couple of things, okay? If you have to go to the bathroom, number one, for example, you don't want to go right near your camp. What you want to do is you want to move about 15, 20 yards outside of camp and you'd be able to do your duty out there, okay? If it's number two, what you want to do is go roughly 25 feet to 30 feet outside of camp and you want to dig yourself a hole with a stick, do what you need to do, and then cover it all up and uh, pat it down, put a rock or something there, and that should take care of that problem. All right, guys, a couple of other things in my pack. This is my three-day long-term pack. Um, you want to bring some kind of uh, field sanitation kit or some kind of, mine is basically a, a, a sanitation kit and a first aid kit all in one. And I'll basically show you what I have in this kit. And everybody is going to sort of have their own personal kit based on their preferences and what they really need. So let me just open this up real quick and I'll show you the contents inside of it. Okay guys, this is my seal kit. It was basically just a first aid kit to start with. And I just took a few things out and added a few things. Okay, so you'll see the first thing I have is just a very nice clean bandana. This one happens to have skulls on it. Alright, and on this side here, I have a few things. I have a brush because I, you know, have half decent long hair. Okay, I have unscented shampoo. Uh, it's also, this is just a container that I carry it in, but this is also environmentally safe. Alright, over here, I just have a little pad of gauze and I have an eye wash right here. And to take care of any stuff I get in my eye, okay? And on this side here, I just have some toothpaste, and I have one of these toothbrushes here. I can split open, okay? Turns into a toothbrush. You guys must have seen these in a million travel packs, all right? And I have a pen, okay? And in this back section, I have quite a few things, right? I have some... Uh, this is a an alcohol wet nap. I have a couple of those. I got these from the hospital. They're basically sealed sutures, in case you have to suture yourself up. And some extra big gauze pads here and here. And I have a, uh, a, a good size sewing needle with some smaller needles in case we need that. And in the bottom here, just some um, band-aids things like that, and some swabs. And this is basically all I carry in this small little kit. Anything more than this, guys, I think you're going to need some kind of uh, doctor to help you out. But this is good enough to help anyone that I'm with and take care of myself. So this is basically the kit that I use. Okay, and we'll fold this back up and show you how it's just compact. And then this fits right in my side pouch right here. And I keep some field glasses in this side, okay? And like I said, guys, everyone's going to be a little bit different, okay? For example, I have a brush that I have in there because I have hair. And when you get, you have a, if you're balding or you have very short hair, you might bypass the brush, put something else in that you might need, all right? And, um, but that's basically my little field kit that I carry in my three day or longer pack. Okay, as far as just cleaning and washing up, you should definitely just clean yourself up in the morning <clears throat> and then clean yourself up at night. And when you go to the creek or the stream, that's why I have a bandana, I always have some sort of bandana lying around, um, make sure that you clean your body thoroughly, uh, especially your feet. Take your socks off, uh, get in between your toes, and just as a note, all the cracks of your body underneath your arms, between your legs, between your ears, all those spots are places that uh, moisture is going to build up. 
so you want to keep those kind of like open and clean as much as you possibly can. And like I said, especially your feet. Your feet are going to sweat. So make sure that you clean your feet thoroughly, thoroughly all the time. And, you know, you might not be able to boil water every time you clean up. So if you're going to brush your teeth, brush your teeth after you've boiled your water. When you put water in your mouth, there could be bacteria there. So um, in the stream, you can sort of wash up and not worry about that too much. But if you have to clean a wound or you want to put it, you want to ingest it, you want to use clean, purified water that you've previously boiled, okay? But just a general wash-up, you can just go to a stream or running water is the best, okay? You don't, want to, you don't want to go to a dense bog or a pond, all right, guys? So just a couple of little tips while you're out on the trail and some sanitation purposes and showed you how I have a little medical pouch and what I basically carry. And on my everyday carry, <clears throat> I also have duct tape and I have cordage, so there's a lot of extra stuff that I have with me all the time, but this little medical bag, um, I like to keep in my long-term pack.